I'd like to introduce to you the new uh, 2.0 version of my Big Sfix BTS 5712, uh, which fits USA uh, Bigsby's B5, uh, B7, and B12. Today I'll be installing it on my ProJet, which I have uh, a B7 on. These originally came with B50 licensed, but this one has a B7, uh, some other modifications on it as well, but I will do the install on that so you can see. The main difference on on the uh, 2.0 is instead of using the stock axle to hold this in place, I've had these little axle replacement screws made that uh, will install with a, a small screwdriver. For uh, loosening the stock axle, you'll need a 5 64th Allen wrench, and you'll just need a, a basic uh, number two Phillips tip to get the Bigsby off the, the guitar. I'll do this project just sitting on a couch to show you just how easy it is. For this operation, you'll need to loosen the strings a bit, but don't take them completely off. Um, if the strings are nice and loose, you should be able to pull back on the arm and pull the spring out relatively easily which will then make the strings even looser. And then take your number two head Phillips and back the two screws out holding the front of the Bigsby to the guitar. We're gonna leave the back intact for this whole operation. Okay, once the screws are out, you'll see that the entire Bigsby now is loose from the guitar. I'm going to use the end of this string winder. I'm going to lift up and push this underneath the Bigsby between the guitar and the Bigsby to allow me to reach up underneath here. If you feel right under this portion of the casting, there's a little hole that there's a set screw holding this axle in place that keeps this roller on. And if you're really savvy you'll be able to get up underneath there and find that hole and loosen the set screw ever so carefully from the top it's going to look like you're turning it clockwise but you're really turning it counterclockwise which is going to loosen it get it up in there a couple of times and rotate that around to where the screw has released tension. You can take the end of the set, uh, Allen wrench and push the axle right out, which is then going to release the roller. At this time, we'll go ahead and reattach the Bigsby to the guitar, one of my little felt washers fell out, so I'll just make sure to stick that back in there. Using the two screws that you took out. You will just reattach to the body of the guitar. You may notice on this particular Bigsby, I have this stay tuned apparatus. One of the many things that I've tried along the way to increase stability, tuning stability on this guitar. So now, with the strings are very loose now because the roller is out, you'll take the 2.0 version, take the two specialty screws out. I think you'd be wise to just push one in to each side just ever so slightly so that they're there when you're ready to start tightening. Now you'll take the stabilizer and set it down in there. Take a small tipped screwdriver, push it in till it hits the hole and give it a few turns. Nothing tight just yet that back so we can see 
what we're doing here. Find the other hole and turn. There she goes. When you install this, just ever so snug. You don't need much tightness on those screws because once everything is put back together and tuned up, the, the tension of the strings tends to hold everything together. Now if you were to put the spring back in, you'll find it's much looser right now because there's a lot less tension on that roller. Uh, you do need to rotate your spring uh, just so you'll notice that if it's not rotated in the right position when you use the Bigsby that it'll uh, the spring pops in and out of that socket. Make sure that the strings are then in the saddles appropriately. Um, tighten the strings just a little bit before tuning this up. I will show you the new brake angle on this guitar. So now what you have is the much shallower brake angle. You have the strings running under the Bigs fix. If you look down inside the hole, you can just make out the recessed screw that holds everything in place. So as simple as that, about, I don't know, five and three quarter minute installation.